Debauchery, he says. When was debauchery? How many years has it been, old whoremonger, since you prowled the streets of the town, debauching every flower of virtue who so much as looked up at you from the pages of her catechism? And how long ago did you, liar, swear off the hunt and settle into holy marriage with Isabella, whose reputation is so far beyond reproach that St. Catherine herself looks like a doxy in a stew house compared to her? And now you're grieving, now you regret? Oh, regrets, Francescina. Misery and regrets. Oh. Calm your misery, decrepitude, and tell me, what right do you have to be in torment? Who's brought to your house the lovely Columbina, who's warmed your nights now for more than a year? Oh, you good woman, you! Oh, Columbina. Oh, ungrateful old lecher. You should be basking in perpetual bliss with a spotless wife to take care of your reputation and a delicious bond to take care of your every pleasure. And you come to Franceschina now with stories of grief and despair. Oh, a great, great measure of grief and despair. Columbina, my wonder, my joy, has bolted her door against me, and for three months I haven't touched so much as a toe of her whole delectable body. <laughs> She's my idol, Franceschina, my salvation, my everything. And for want of her, I've taken to the shameful ruse of spending my nights at the monastery of San Marcos so that my misery won't make me cry out her name while I'm in bed with that stone of virtue, my Isabella. <laughs> Three whole months. You haven't enjoyed her for three months? Three months, Franceschina. I'm dead with longing. Dead. Does the corrupted harlot have the face to lock her door against you, her benefactor, into whose protection I myself delivered her? She has the face. The door is locked. Where is the shameless thing now? In her room below my cellar, Franceschina. Behind her iron door. Go to her, good woman. Speak to her. Tell her of my torment. And above all, find out if she has another lover. What? You suspect she has another lover while she's locked in your own house? It's madness. <laughs> I know. But I'm jealous of the very air she breathes. If she's betraying me, Franceschina, I'll kill her with a thousand daggers and scratch the marks of my revenge.